Um, I have Emmanuel. Emmanuel Revert says, "Yo, what's up?" Nedzi was say, "I'm tuned in from Lakeside of Kisumu Town. Awesome show. Got your rock queen. Oh, I love you. Please awesome. play for me. Knives and Pants by Black Veil Brides. <laughs> going out to all my metal heads in Kenya. I love you all, and we love you too. too. Much love to Kisumu. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, yes. Now, Iman Gem says, "I can't afford to miss the lovely faces on our screen. And look at that, <laughs> Iman. Thank you. He is There's always tuned. Nani na kumbia ni kare register." He's always <laughs> lovely present. Let me shout out to you, man. It's my greetings. Zamaroka, Ra Zamarok stars in the VP. When I salute me, I'm a VP. Yeah. There's the horns. Uh, oh, it's just a sign. Morocco is a salute. I'm a junior junior. I'm a sub sub. How you doing? Yeah. How about Yako? <laughs> uh, Jambo Buana. I know, right? <laughs> oh, and my sister is watching for the first time. Like she is hey, okay. never home. Hi, yeah. Welcome, home. To, the Welcome to the club. Welcome to the. What's up? She's becoming yeah, a convert, pole pole. Yeah, that's Hilda. I'll be sure to you. Yeah, she's tuned for the first time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm Jambo. Happy studio. Leo Rock Tua. I'm a perma director. I'm a jekumia hell. To me, I'm a five fifty. I'm a G. I'm a G. sana. We know. And he is a real fan. And he knows. He knows. Okay. I'm selling mums for Hili Bora. I'm going to be an iTunes. 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 I'm all right, now, so mm -hmm. Mike Kagada, awesome show. Nice to catch up with you today. We know, right? Now, um, I'm going to be shouting out some more people, and I have so many people on Twitter and on Facebook as well, and still on the White Fever channel. But first, let's meet our guest of today. Yeah. Yo, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm so excited. Zainab, right you can. Yeah, all right. I can He's come closer. Fine. Can you say hello to the keyboard? Hi, Nairobi. What's up? Yeah. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hanging out with you, skills. Yeah, I'm trying to say, I'm Got good it. now. I'm going to my say. name is hard. Feeling. Feeling? Yes. It's not hard because yeah. my English name, I can't say it. Oh, shit, no. But my <laughs> <laughs> but my sister's name is Evelyn. Uh -huh. My oh, other sister's name is Mary Lynn. And my dad oh. used to say if he gives birth to a guy, it's going to be Franklin. Oh, oh really? So, Feeling. It's not hard. It's a little It's not hard. All right. That, that's amazing. Now, Zainab, I'm going to give you a chance for the first time. Just introduce yourself. You mm -hmm. understand? Just for the guys at home who've never heard about you, never seen you. Please go ahead with the honor of introducing yourself to the guests at home. With my voice, yeah? Just, yes, okay. with your voice. Okay, hi guys. Um, my name is Zainab Sule. Mm -hmm. I am a Nigerian mm -hmm. singer, songwriter, <laughs> uh, come soft rock musician. Mm -hmm. And I'm here in Nairobi for a show on a Saturday. Yes. Awesome. It's going to be amazing. Yes, yeah, yes. we're looking forward to that. I'm, I'm looking so forward to it more. Mm -hmm. So, cool. guys, you better get your tickets. Like, mm -hmm. she is the queen mm -hmm. of soft rock. And I'm not even just saying, that. Like that's what everybody says. That's what everybody calls her. She's literally the queen of self love. No, so then maybe you can tell us. So, at what age did you realize that you had a passion for music and specifically rock music? At what age? I actually think I evolved because I started with country music. Oh. When I was really young, I started with country music, and my dad used to play Don Williams and mm -hmm. Dolly Parton and all those uh, boring country, country music. <laughs> but, but then I got to school when I was in the university. I was like, oh yeah. shit, you're not going to make any money from this shit. Mm -hmm. So I started listening to contemporary country, which is uh, a little bit pop. rockish, yeah. popish. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, oh, this is a better version. So I started yes. listening to more. Yeah. Then I fell in love with Pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Ah, uh, yeah. She's my oh, idol. Pink. Okay. She's, she's the one. That's really? oh yeah she's okay wait when you say pink yeah. is it pink or pink Floyd there no no pink 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 pink. Ah, pink. Right. pink pink not pink Floyd no right, pink. Right. Was a, ah. <laughs> yeah, okay, but, yeah. but pink yeah <laughs> so all the songs I grew up on almost all her songs I was like okay yeah this is more like what I want mm. to do so, all right so how did your parents take it oh. now this day now she's like you know what I'm gonna pick up the guitar and I wanna do music even though I'm still in school but I wanna do music how did they take it my dad hated it 
<laughs> yeah, he's military. He was like, it's African parents. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah, he said, he said, my daughter is never going to be a musician. Mm -hmm. Until the first day I gave him his check, mm -hmm. uh, his first check from a gig. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, this is your check. And he's like, uh, okay. Yeah, but you can think about it. Now, now I can, can convince talk. him. You can discuss but, this. Yeah, but, but no, nah, he, he's yeah. never been for it. They yeah. want me to be a doctor. Yeah. You know, the whole blood thing. I know, right? I don't want like African <laughs> parents. You don't, that is not a career. You know? Help me. Why does every child want to be a doctor? But when the money, but when the money comes in, it's good. Like, right. I knew she was good at time. I was great. Well, from the first time I was the one that bought her a guitar, yeah. they started taking the glory when they're not the one that did it, actually. So I know, right? I now, know. so who are some of your influencers growing up? I understand, like, Coldplay is one of them. Yeah, so, Coldplay. yeah, tell, like, Coldplay, who else? Um, very late in life, I started being compared to Tracy Chapman, and I'm like, no, hell oh, no. Oh, she's cool, but... Yeah, she's cool, though. She's cool, but, but when I started getting compared, I was like, no. I, no. I was more like uh, um, mm -hmm. Kelly Clarkson. Ah. Ah. Yes, yes, yeah. Kelly Clarkson. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't too like Carrie Underwood, but she was one of my influences, mm -hmm. oh, as really? well as Pink. Alanis Murray said, Coldplay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those those are my those are the people that I listen to. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. So the first time you picked up a guitar and started playing, so did you like go for music classes? You know, like the typical way. Okay, not everybody does that, but you know the right way, especially for a rock artist. Rock, you have to know your music. You have to know your guitar. Instrument. Yeah, you have to know your instruments exactly. So did you take classes? Did you teach yourself? How were you? tell us about the whole process? I couldn't play shit. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't play anything like, uh, nothing oh, but no. I, every day i would wake my mother up and be like i want a guitar and if you don't buy me a guitar god will punish you like i was really <laughs> i was a terrible child i like that i, was I, I like that cute uh, so you had three times I, like I was a terrible, was a terrible child and my mother just one day mm -hmm. woke up and said hey you stand up stop on child <laughs> come let us go and I buy the guitar. guitar and then i got to the guitar store and they're like okay so what guitar do you want i'm like anyone i couldn't play shit oh. and they're like okay so, so can you, you tune know. it you didn't even know which one i didn't know what? Better. So I just picked it and did like this to the guy. And the girl was like, I was like, yeah, this sounds better. And I took it. I could play anything. Oh, yeah, okay. so it took me a while, but mostly I did it on Google. Mm -hmm. Then way back, there was no YouTube. Yeah. Oh. So we had videos from people like Paul Baloch. There oh, were some Paul guys. Baloche, yeah, oh, yeah he used to send videos there. Mm. Oh, so you watch on CD? Like on CD, yes. Oh. Yeah, so we started doing that. And we're like a gang. Mm -hmm. And some um, some foreigners would come and they, they, they're so good. Yeah. And they play. Mm -hmm. And we, now the Africans, we don't know shit. Mm -hmm. But we look at them, I'm like, hmm. And then we yeah. ask them, how long have you been playing? And they say, we've well, been playing for like two years. I'm like, <laughs> and some of us have been playing for like four years and we didn't know shit. <laughs> so then they ask us, how long have you been playing? Oh, we just started. We knew we don't know how to play the guitar. <laughs> so we started doing that for a while. And then when you hang out with them, yeah, it, it, grows, it on grows on you yeah, and you become yeah. even better. Yeah, yeah. Now, so how, you've been, you've been in Kenya before, this is not yeah, your first yeah. time. Now, so how can you compare the Kenyan rock scene with our Nigeria? Kenyan is uh, maybe worlds ahead. Because there is so much support for Kenyan rock scene. Mm -hmm. uh, in Nigeria, most of us, we have to come together mm -hmm. and do it our own self. But here you have even a TV, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys, you guys have the Metal Fest, you have, the, you have so many shows that yeah, go for yeah, Kenyan yeah. rock. So you guys are light years ahead. We're hoping to get there. Yeah. And we're hoping that more musicians, we appeal to more musicians right. to come in. Our, All right. you know. So what, what can you say has been the biggest challenge you've encountered as an artist in the rock scene? Or just an artist in general, what has been the biggest challenge? Being taken serious. <laughs> yeah, you know, because yeah. we're, we're not mainstream yeah. and you have uh -huh. to, yeah. the average person thinks you don't make any money because you're singing rock. Yeah, and you have to be a Davido yeah. or something. Because it's not mainstream, yeah. so they're like, ah, what, what comes with that? There's no yeah. way. They don't know you have shows abroad, like not, you may not <laughs> sell so much, maybe back home, but you have shows in the UK, The thing is, once, you, once, you, once yeah. you have your brand and yeah. you just have to keep doggedly going yeah. for yeah. that one that. and mm -hmm. find a way to build the brand, but don't put your eyes so much on the money and then the money will come. It's right. following you. Yeah, yeah. It's follow like it's following you. Uh, the I, I, head really, head I, I look like it's following me. <laughs> it's following you, man. <laughs> right, so what's the best thing about being an artist for you? Oh, freedom. Like I'm here in Kenya. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, freedom. You it's own your dog. life, man. It's a job, yeah. It's, a, yeah. it's actually yeah. a job. This is a job. Yeah. And also, apart, like most people don't know this, but you have a career. Like you went to school, you have a degree. Mm. Yes, we're, we're she like, has a degree oh, in mathematics. Be, 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 be
we like driving this home because yes. you know uh, this, this stereotype that's yeah. really happening around oh. that rockets. And those guys who just giving up on life, guys who oh. didn't make it, you know, guys who were in school, yeah. good grades in school. Oh. So we usually, like, us guys, we went to school, we are those guys who have those grades, but we just decided we want to do music. We want to dump the career. And, like, I gave my mom my certificate and yeah. said, you can have it now. Can I play my <laughs> guitar now? Hang on with it. Use yeah. it. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. All but right. I don't like to push that apart. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, now, I want to also understand, like, um, uh, apart from music, oh no, not, not that. I wanted to ask you about your album, Hypersonic, right? Mm. You understand Hypersonic? It came out a while back and you've been promoting it yeah. in, uh, in Nigeria and abroad, and it's an iTunes. I saw that. Mm -hmm. So, um, how is it doing? What inspired it? Because, okay, the first track is Hypersonic. I saw that. I loved it. But there are so many other tracks. So, there are 12 tracks. Yeah, oh, I know your favorite. And how is it performing? Right? <laughs> 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 and you can just fool it. Yeah. You shouldn't even think about it. You know, like, like you know, um, with parents, when you tell them, who's your favorite kid? They're like, no, they have a favorite, but they never admit it. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I love my kids. That's so I thought that was going to be the same case. She's going to be like, oh. That's my favorite, actually. <laughs> no comment, no, no, no <laughs> argument. But I have a song Why, why is it your favorite? Because I wrote the song from a place of from it meant so much to me you know mm -hmm. yeah it was it was my song yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. there's some songs you write for people yeah and then there's some songs you write just, for yourself so the song is actually for me uh though i tell people that it's for someone else you know, you know how singers do mm -hmm. yeah, yeah but but hypersonic has been good i i have this thing that it's it's sometimes it costs us but sometimes you have to. So if we do music, you know, what's come up with us is that we do one, we do, then we do again, then we do it, and it doesn't sink in. Yeah, yeah, so I yeah. always have this thing that if I do, I want, it to, I want to be able really? to beat my chest and say, yeah. Yeah. I've done as much exactly. as I can okay. for this. Then I leave it and then I move on. Because I, I had two previous albums before this one, but well, my, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> please don't ever call them. <laughs> but so I put in so much work for this one. Yeah. I even spoke to um, one of the Kenyan producers yeah. then before the album came out, because I want to mm. do something here. Yeah. Yeah, you should actually do something here. Yeah, I want I was to saying how you should move to Kenya. <laughs> Kenya is amazing. Kenya's it's amazing. I am a fan of Kenya. Seriously, okay. but I wanted to, and then mm. I just wanted to give the album so much life. <laughs> Some of the songs have videos before, but oh, there were songs from other albums that I would have to redo. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's it. But Hypersonic is like my baby right now. Oh, ah, amazing. Yeah. Now, you've been on so many stages, you've performed at so many platforms. What has been the biggest platform you've performed at so far? And which one was your favorite? <laughs> no, but that's and also the highlight. Yeah, we want to know what has been the highlight of your career so far? Oh shit, that's some crazy question. Okay, yeah, mm -hmm. the biggest platform, I would have said US, but it was in Tanzania. Oh. Yes, when I went with this uh, action aid, because mm -hmm. most times we just sing, mm -hmm. and you don't know how the songs impact. Then yeah. I get the request that you have to start writing songs for this woman. Mm -hmm. And in oh. Kilimanjaro, they yeah, had, Kilimanjaro yes, thing, yeah, yeah. they had this thing that the women farmers don't have, mm -hmm. where to, they don't have a land when their husbands die. And they say, up, you come write a song. Mm -hmm. And then oh. we, they flew me down, my guys, down to Tanzania. Yeah. And then there were no youth, just what? elderly women. And, yeah. and I'm like, if you can sing to this, you can sing anywhere. Yeah, you know, yeah, and then I saw yeah. them, and they were all elderly, and they all stood up, and it was crazy. What? Yeah, that was, that was, that was. So that was a, your highlight that was so my far. Highlight. But the biggest stage was in the US. Most, uh, most definitely. Most definitely. definitely. <laughs> how, how would you even ask? Right. <laughs> right, but I want to know one thing. The, the June 22nd show is going to be at Cricket Q. I will tell you guys, tickets are going for 800 bob, so get them on Ticket Sasa, yeah? And she's, she's, she's going to be playing alongside Rush. There's uh, 20 More Days. There's uh, Crystal Axis. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Times there's gonna be a whole lot, like mm. all rockers are gonna be there, so make sure uh -huh, you're not uh -huh. left out. Yeah, as yeah. guys are gonna be there too. But um, the event is actually dedicated to depression. depression. Yeah. yeah, I wanted you to talk to us about that. Why did you feel the need to do that? I have a lot of friends who come and say suicide. Mm -hmm. I have, yeah. yes. And in the US, the, the sound person that was assigned to us committed suicide a month before the show. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's it's going around and it's like yeah. it's like a snake. It's just it's going just, around. Just, yeah. So I'm like, why sing about love, man? Why yeah, sing about motion and stuff? Boss. Let's yeah. find a cause and do something that would yeah. because workers are the most depressed. Yeah. yeah. We get high and we <laughs> just forget everything. We're yeah. like, oh shit, no money, kill me already. You know, but but come to this show, come to a rock show where depressed people are mm. and, and come see that Speaking. you're loved and see that people Yeah, there's love. There's yeah, love people like you. People it's, it just doesn't have to end there. So I wanted yeah, to die direct the music to mm. something else okay. apart from motion. Oh, that's nope. really dope. Like and that's approach. deep, Ooh. by the way. Yeah. Like, people need to talk about this more, you know? And you need more music about this. So when is the next album coming? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, I, I gave myself like a, like a, um, what's that, a mandate. Yeah. I've been doing so many songs on myself, by myself. Mm. Yeah. So with that, I'm Ten applying for collabs. Yeah. But not with, likes. no, no, those are my people. Okay. Why collab with your person? You guys oh, are cool. friends. So, yeah. around so here. go around your people. Yeah. You guys will nice. always be friends. It's yeah. nice. So yeah. why just, just move somewhere else like. and pick someone else? So maybe I see Ugandan. Mm -hmm. I would collaborate more with a Ugandan than a yeah. Nigerian because yeah. we are home. Yeah, yeah exactly. We, can, we, we literally are all the same shows, we're together. So and oh, really, and yeah. still on that, in Kenya, is there anyone you're looking forward to working with? Should I go like 10 names with you right now? Uh, <laughs> yes, please, please do. We want to know. Do you, do you have anything on the way with anyone? No, I've not spoken. Anyone? I've not spoken, but mm. I have. I know I did speak to about Andromeda. It. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Nick, yeah? Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. I just spoke once. That was 2017 about ah, recording okay. something. Oh. But no, the oh. person is in my chest. I'm not telling yeah. you guys. Well, looking forward <laughs> to that. Now, the internet is a very dark place. We, all, we, we know that. And you need a support system. So uh, how do you deal with your critics? That is number mm. one. And number two, like critics and people, you know, bad energy, the negativity. Mm. And also when something like that happens, um, who is your support system? Um, okay, I, I do a lot of drawing because, mm -hmm. you know, physical oh. design, yeah. so mm -hmm. I shut down. Mm -hmm. But another thing is I have an insane amount of confidence. Yeah. Uh, so I had cool. to die to self, you know, kind it's of like, amazing. man, just kill yourself already. So you can troll me for all you like. I'm just going to be like, oh, wow, can you add one more? Mm -hmm. So yeah, I had to do that because the internet is crazy, like you yeah. said. Yeah. And you can, the same suicide thing we're yeah. talking about yeah. can go really, yeah. can make you spiral. So yeah. you have to tune off. Yeah. And the one thing about the internet, people never remember the good things about you. Yeah. They always one remember the dark things, things, the bad things. You do one bad thing and you'll be remembered for, for life. life. Like and they, you yeah, memed, because especially now yeah, people exactly. will meme you. <laughs> that like, like, it's, it's really bad. But yeah, that's really, really amazing. So, I just have to turn off and, yeah. and do it all. You would just get, because you can spend hours on someone's um, Instagram or Facebook and start getting depressed and everything. I'm no like, no, please, yeah. no. All right, so one thing, um, one advice you would give to a young Zainab out there, <laughs> anyone, okay. okay, maybe not Zainab, let's say whoever is out there yeah. watching you there and they have the same there, dreams some. and ambitions as you, what would you advise them? And then after that, you play for us as I get the cake right here because I promise about, guys you know, we have cake I think there's something you haven't mentioned. Do you know she's the mother? I'm not a mother. Oh. I thought you were a mother. Hell no, please God, no. Uh, yes, please God, yes. You can't. That's why I wanted to dump <laughs> that. I just wanted to dump that on you. He just wanted to know you could pay attention. Because I've been sitting on you for a long time. What? Oh, those are nephews and nieces. Oh, those are where? Did you see those ones? Only photos. No, I that's not me. That's probably my sister's kids. Ah. Uh, I'm the last one. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, gotcha. I, I you just wanted to breathe. That's why I'm just quiet. I'm like, I'm going to draw <laughs> that from <laughs> somewhere. You want to get some Kenyan kids, and that's not <laughs> such a bad idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that. We like Zainabs. Right? Just because they talked about little Zainabs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. That's the right place. <laughs> All right, um, so um, mm -hmm. any, 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 yeah, any prospects? Just talk to us and then pray for us as I get the cake oh, for okay. us guys right here. Yeah, we need to cake up. Okay, so my advice to the ones coming up is yeah. like you're gonna meet crazy, crazy disappointments. Mm -hmm. But if you really want it bad enough, you're gonna go all the way. If you want it bad enough, so. Yeah. All right. So I'm just gonna do it as still here. I'm still gonna. I'm just gonna
so much for designing and for coming. It's been amazing. And my phone is with me. Heaven. All right, thank you so much for coming. It's you my been, pleasure, man. You've been so, uh, amazing. Asante. Hey. She really learned some Swahili. Uh, Swahili is, um, I can't say the word, but you know what I mean. Yeah, it thank is, you. Thank you. Thank you. No. So thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you so guys much. Thank you guys at home for watching the show. Unfortunately, we're out of time. I couldn't even be able to send out love to people the way I promised. But shout out to everybody who tuned in, including um, Marsh, Marsh for Wubu, uh, Bubbles and uh, Naivasha. He just reminded me, like, you have to shout me out. So shout out to Marsh, uh, Bubbles, Naivasha. Thank you so much for watching the show. And everybody else who was tuned in. And this is Yvonne by the way, hello. <laughs> Hi guys. Hey, yes. Hi. Yes. And we have Kevo on the camera. How can I forget that? Kevo, you can come right here. The cake is here. We're about to get in this cake to eat the cake up. Yes, not to get inside the cake. <laughs> now, the hashtag is rock 254 rock turns one. I told you we are tiling one for the whole month. Yes, we're gonna have cake every every single Saturday. So come through next week. If you're out there, just DM me and I'll invite you to the studio. You can come. Right here, and we're gonna eat cake and have some good music, yes, and have fun. Shout out to Fadili, our director. There's Faith, Pali Volkwa Sound, and there's Yvonne as well. There's so many guys who made the show possible. Shout out to you, his skills as well. And every team rock to yeah, we love and appreciate you guys. Now, the show runs each and every Saturday from 5 to 7 p.m. The repeat is on a Tuesday. That is at um, oh, his skills, by the way, you can come join us. Kombali Salam, Unaka, Unaka, Toto. No, no, I'm going to talk a All right, all right, cool. Now, each and every Tuesday, that's when we have the repeat from, um, that is from 8.30 all the way to 10.30 p.m. I love who, oh, that is EDM, Soft Rock, that's on Wednesday at 5 p.m. I love who cash 10 a.m. Now, I'll be shout out to you guys, and thank you for watching. Don't go away, watch for folks. We have so many programs for you lined up. So stay with us, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Now it's coming. Ah, that is crazy. What kind of cake is it?